Hi again, friends. So I thought we read a story earlier, so I thought that we would actually make some yummy cookies. So I thought we would make my favorite cookies. They are called no bake peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. So I'll tell you some of the things that we will need. We will need a recipe, which is what tells us what ingredients we're supposed to put in our cookies. We need something called vanilla. It gives them a little bit of flavor. We need peanut butter, pretty yummy. We need oats. Let's see what else we need. It's called cocoa powder. It makes it chocolatey. A lot of you probably like chocolate. And we need white sugar. It's in this container. Put it over here. And we need butter. And we need, these are called measuring cups, right here and here. And then we need our pan, of course, and oh, gotta grab out a spoon. Here we go, here's our spoon to stir. Okay, you guys, here we go. Let's see. First step is we have to take our butter and we're gonna put it in our pan. And unwrap it, and stick it in there. And we're gonna turn it on so it can start melting. Okay, now we need three fourths of a cup of sugar. Our recipe tells me more, but I'm not gonna make as much as that. So I'm gonna use just three fourths of a cup. So we're gonna pour it in there. Okay. All right, here we go. Here comes the sugar. It's a waterfall. Woo! There's the sugars in there. And now we need a fourth of a cup of milk. So I'll be right back. Did you miss me? Got the milk. All right, here we go. So we need a fourth of a cup of milk. This is a fourth of a cup. So we're gonna fill that up. Ready for the milk waterfall? I bet you guys missed this. Woohoo! Can you hear that? It's cooking. Also means I probably better get my handy spoon out and start stirring. All right, so this part melts the butter in the bottom of the pan. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, and we also need cocoa powder. And we need an eighth of a cup, which is just tiny. It's about half of what this was. So we're gonna add a little bit of cocoa powder. Yummy. Give it that chocolate flavor. Okay, now we gotta stir this up good. And it's starting to bubble in here, you guys. Let's see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see that. It's chocolatey, starting to bubble. Okay, so. We have to stir this really, really good together until it bubbles. And as soon as it starts bubbling, that means it's getting really, really hot. As soon as it starts to bubble, we're gonna set a timer for one minute. So let's see. Yep, we're at the bubbling stage. So I am going to set my timer. We're gonna turn it on and we're gonna set it for one minute. All right, so in that one minute that I have with you guys, I actually wrote a little story for you. I thought we would do while we wait, and I kind of have to stir this at the same time, so it might get kind of tricky. See if I can do it. Okay. So I said, once upon a time, there was a really awesome school. It had to close just for a little while so the germs could go away. The teachers of the school have the best students and miss them very much. They cannot wait to see them again. The teachers love to play, teach, and get lots of smiles and hugs. And if you can't figure that out and haven't figured it out yet, I am talking about our school. You guys are the best students, and we hope to see you soon. And until we do, we hope you have a lot of fun with your families and you're enjoying that time. So let's see, let's get our minute timer. I hope you enjoyed that story because guess what? I'm gonna listen and my timer is gonna be going off. 
You hear that? That's the timer going off, so that means that we need to stop it, and we need to take the pan off of the burner because it is nice and bubbly. Look at all that ooey gooey chocolate. Mmm. Okay, so we'll turn that off, but this is still hot, so I can't touch it. Okay, now I need a spoon. I'll be right back. Did you miss me again? Got spoon. Okay, so now we're gonna take some peanut butter. It says one third of a cup. I'm just gonna guess with the peanut butter, otherwise it sticks in my measuring cups and it's hard to get out. So here's the peanut butter. Stick that in there. That should do it. Okay, and now we need a little bit of this vanilla. There we go. All right, there's the vanilla. And we need one and a half cups, which will be one of these and then half or more of oats. Let me get the oats. See if I can do this without spilling them all over. Here you go, I'll kind of do it where you can see. All right, there's one cup. I'm gonna do half more. There's the other half. Okay, there's the oats. Now let's check all of our ingredients. We got butter, we got sugar and milk, we've got the cocoa and the vanilla and the peanut butter and the oats. We got it all. So now the magic happens. Are you ready? I'm thinking while I'm stirring this, maybe we could sing ABCs, you think? All right, are you ready? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Perfect. Good job. All right, you guys. I don't know if you can see this very well. I'll try to show you on the spoon. <gasps> Look at that. They turned into cookies. So here we go. Now, this part will be hard for you guys to see, but I'm gonna put it on a little piece of paper I have over here. And they're going to cool and they will become cookies. So here we go. Let me move some things over here. And I'm gonna take the video camera and show you the cookies. There it is, you see that? That's what they make. And as soon as they cool down a little bit, then they will be ready to eat. So I hope that you guys maybe wanna make these with your moms and dads. You'll want them because you have to do it on the oven, but I'm sure you can add ingredients and stir. So I hope you have a great day. Enjoy your families. Love and miss you guys. Bye.